This is how to install Android in Linux. So we're going to go to android-x86.org. Go to Downloads. We're going to click View on the top file there, which is a 64-bit Android system. Download should start automatically. And I'm going to save that to my downloads folder. Close Firefox and start VirtualBox. We need to create a new virtual machine for the Android system. I'm going to call this Android. The type is going to be Linux. And the version. is off the screen up there at the top but it's called Linux 2.6 3x 4x 64-bit then click Next I'm gonna let this virtual machine use 2048 megabytes or 2 gig Click Next. Create virtual hard disk now. Click Create. VDI virtual box disk image. Click Next. Dynamically allocated. Click Next. And click. Um, the bar there, I want to give it 16 gigabytes of initial storage, then click Create. Now we're going to click Start. Now we click the little folder icon with the green up arrow on the right. And we're going to select the Android ISO that we downloaded. Click Open. Then click Start. Okay, use the arrow keys to scroll down to Installation. and then click enter. Click C for create modify and then click enter for OK. Click enter for no. Use the arrow keys to select new. Then click enter. Click enter for primary. You're going to click enter to make it bootable. and use the arrow keys to select right. And then click enter.
And here you're going to type yes. You have to type the whole word. Y isn't good enough. You're going to go to quit, hit enter. Click OK. Scroll down to EXT4 and then hit enter for OK. Yes. Yes to install Grub. Yes to make the directory read write. Now it's installing. This will take just a minute. I'm going to click enter to run Android, but you can reboot if you want. Okay, we're booting up Android. When this comes up, you may have to click on the input menu up top and select Capture Mouse. Once your mouse is captured, you're going to click on the Let's Go button. Setup is new. You're going to enter your Google information just like you were setting up a new phone. Once that's done, I'm going to select the Home app Launcher 3. I'm going to go to the Play Store because I want to be able to use Instagram on my PC. So you find Instagram just like you would on your phone. Click install. Then if you have more than one screen on your Android, all you got to do is click on the screen and drag it left to right. We'll see that in a second. I'm going to use the arrow over there to back out of this. Yep, here I am clicking and dragging. Click Instagram. Log in. I'm going to choose log in with Facebook and then enter my information. Continue. And here's my home area. I'm going to click the plus sign to add a photo, but I've only got one photo on my Android system. 
So I'm going to click next. I'm not going to use a filter, so I'm going to click next. Then I'm going to call it Barred Owl. And then click Share. And I have my first post in probably over a year. And that's it. Um, enjoy playing around with Android on your PC. Thanks for watching.